guys, I'm pretty excited about this. I got a email today from Code Academy saying, "Hey, uh, the rest of our course is ready to go." Um, the only thing I have to say is, why is Java only four sections, man? We already did one in the preview. You can't preview a fourth of it. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. Conditionals and control flow. Conditionals and control flow. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like we're going to be making here. Um, if you're not familiar with Java or this is your first object-oriented programming language, let's just work our way through uh, line by line real quick, a quick understanding. So this is our class called conditionals. This is the main method. Main method's kind of where you call your code so that it runs. If it's not in the main method and it's not in a function getting called in the main method, it's not going to work. Um, it's not going to do anything essentially. So uh, in, this is our if statements with you know some statements, prints, else if, else if, else statements, switch. So this is essentially saying that uh, we could do we can do a lot of things with if and else statements, but if there's only one answer and it's fairly straightforward, um, we can just set some cases, and from there, uh, if it's that. Do this, and that's basically what the case is. If it's this, if this is it, do this. If this is it, do this. And if it's none of those, you have a default right here. So that's what we're going to be doing. So go. Cool. You order a cup of Java. You answer C. That is correct. Oops. Next. Cool. So. Oh, it looks like we didn't do operators in the last one. So um, in this case, we're going to be using the AND operator. So we're just going to evaluate two booleans. We'll put one, uh, oops, one true and one false. And we're going to print out, is true and false true? No. It's, it's true and true, true, yes. Is false and false true? Yes. Is true and false true? No, it's false. So that's what we're going to print out. Cool. So it prints out false. Just two uh, of the end signs, ampersands. So I think it's a technical name. So we're going to use the OR operator. Um, some languages actually use the word OR, and it's so much better, if you ask me. I, I've always thought these two slashes were kind of it. So um, I, this time we'll do two and true. Right. Oops. Actually, we'll do true or false. And if it's true or false, it should return true. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's going to print out the value. Oh, or maybe not. There it goes, true. Cool. So that's how we do or. Um, oh, and then you can also do not equals to. So on line four, we want to say not equals to false. So the exclamation point's not and then equals and we're going to say so is this not equal to false um it's true not equals to false sorry forgot the other side of the argument so is true not equals to false that is true so when we run it it's going to print out true and then uh use an operator so is five uh five not greater than one so that should print false because 5 is greater than 1. And sometimes people get loopy in their heads when they're doing not equals and true, false, return the true or a false. Just speak it out to yourself. Like, is true, true not equal to false? That's too fast. Is true not equals to false? Because false is equal to false and that would return true. And true is equal to true, but true is not equals to false. So you just... Maybe I could made it, made it more confusing right there, but um, oops, not equals, not greater than isn't isn't a real thing. So not greater than, use less than. I don't know why I did that. So, uh, oh, hey, they want us to return false. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch these. So it's one not equal to five. And don't have that in there. Oh, is five greater than five? No, sorry. Uh, 
Oh. Oh my god, my bro. I, I got so distracted by this true or false thing, I broke the problem. So it's 5, not equal to 5. That's false. Because uh, 5 is equal to 5. So, so there's a the delay there. So let's see. Line 4 has a code statement that is incomplete. For use, each Boolean operator no more than once to replace the empty comments. So if you don't forget what a multi-line comment is, it's these slash star, star slash. So let's go ahead and take out all these. And here. So is, so what do we want to return? We want to fall. So is one. So one equal to eight is false. There is one equal equal to eight. Or we can use greater than or equal to eight. And then five is less than two or greater than two and and we'll do and and we're gonna change this to twelve. And we don't need to change the other statement because this is an and and I think we have to throw an and there as well. So let's go ahead and run that. The returns false. Did you use each boolean operator more than once? Uh oh. Whoops. All right. So we'll do one not equal to one. So that's false. We have to use or. So it's one. That's not. Any. So we're gonna bam bam or five. That should work. Other boolean operator. So one is not equal to one is false. And four is five. Barely. Right, guys, we're gonna jump right back into it. I I refreshed the page and I got the code and I think they just wanted it a certain way, so. Um, let's go ahead and comment this. This is what it is, and so we were still. I think we were doing it. Okay. I think what we were doing was okay, but I think they wanted it in a certain order. So they want us to actually say whatever this is. We want. We don't want to change this. We only want to. What I did was I changed the variables, and I think they didn't want us to do that. I think they wanted us to just add the operators, which makes more sense. So I apologize for that, but. Uh, you live and you learn. So in this case, um, one is less than eight, so that would be true. And is five greater than two? That's true. Or is three less than five? That's also true. So everything is true in there. And when we return it, it returns false because what's not true, it's false. And what's not false is true. So sorry about the confusion there. Don't mess with the numbers. And just use the operators. All right. So if nine is greater than two, blah blah blah. Use an if statement. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and do. We want to do a boolean statement that returns true. Uh, so if we'll do five is greater than four. Print access granted. Nice. So let's see here. If else. Modify the if boolean expression so the code else gets executed. And so if seven modify. Oh. So we want the else to get. So we change our operator here so that the else will get printed. No. Modify this in Boolean expression. Oh, I'm sorry. Not equals. There we go. So there we go. It prints success because seven is equal to seven. Naturally, I try to put things true. So uh, otherwise, you're gonna kill yourself trying to find that error later on. But anyhow, set set the value of the round variable so that 
the code in the else if block runs. So, um, let's just go ahead and set round. We're going to set round to, and we want the else if round for that to run, it needs to be less than 12 and greater than zero. So we're going to say round is equal to seven. And there it goes. So it prints this out here. The match is underway. Very cool. So set the can drive variable variable equal to the term tenary expression. Set can drive variable. So here's our can drive. And we'll set it equal to the ternary. I don't even know if I've ever used a ternary expression. Let's see what's going on here. So is equal to our fuel level greater than zero. Ooh, I like this. Ooh. I, I know what this does all right, without having a look at it. So this is an if statement in a variable. So here is our character, and we're saying we we get our, our character. We're saying is our fuel level level greater than three? If it is, return this is equal to y. Else it's it's equal to n. Ooh, I like this. I don't know if I've ever used one of those. If I have, it's been quite some time. I, I did see that in like Python or PHP. I forget which one it was. So, all right, so set the code block under default case to system dot out. All right, so our default here, uh, like we were explaining earlier, is messy is in position. What the fuck? No, uh, let's not get dirty. But uh, our defaults. What happens when our switch statements? Our switch checks our character. Says, "Hey, switch, for this value, whatever it is, if it hits one of these marks, in this case, it's an X, so nothing would happen, except we'd run our default, which said, you know, like wrong answer, try again. So let's go ahead and run that. Uh, Missy is in position, or Missy." Uh, look at the code in the code editor. Select char variable lrc. All right, so let's say she got her shot blocked. So let's go with C. And this is case sensitive. So oftentimes, what you'll do for your characters, will be ch you'll do like uh, you'll do penalty kick, kick dot to lowercase or whatever. I I, I forget what it is. Uh, and what this would do is it would change whatever your ch character is to lowercase, and then you would set these, or uppercase, and you would set those so that you don't have to program two cases, like a lowercase l and a big case l, because it is case sensitive. So uh, we change it to C, and she gets her shit blocked. Most embarrassing of all things. <laughs> So use uh, the precedence rules to help you evaluate Boolean expression of a single line coming above the tricky variable. Uh, precedence rules. All right. So so we set this, and then we're gonna set Boolean tricky is equal to, and then this, and it was a question mark. Well, actually, do they want us? Is that what the, I don't think they want us to do that. I'm not sure. They, so, Boolean, use the precedence rules. Oh. Alright, so precedence rules. So, how do we do this? We have to use and. So, we want Boolean tricky. So apparently, uh, after I went on the forums, what we're actually supposed to do here is say what we think the answer to this statement above is. So, is 3 greater than or equal to 3? Yes, it's equal to it, so that's true. And, is true or true? So is true or true? Yes, that's true, and that's not true. Thus, true and false. 
So this is true. This is true or true returns true and not if true is false. So you have true and false. So our answer in this case is false. That's literally all we had to do. And I was so confused by what was going on there. What? Oh, not double equals. There we go. All right. If that didn't work, I was really going to be stoked. <laughs> like, ah, what's going on? All right, so use Boolean expression. That will print out the code if the else block if state. So if 20. Let's change that to 2014. When we run it, 2015 is less than 2014 is false. So it prints out the else. I'm not sure where the train goes. Set the value of the int variable subway train equal to the case. So, uh, equal to the case, this is a Brooklyn bound train, so just remember how cases work. So you can, you don't have to use characters, in this case we're using a integer, and you can do that for quite a few things. So, uh, you can do that for pretty much every data type. And bam, we finished our conditionals and control flow. Sorry for the little bit of stutter step there, but, uh, it looks like, uh, it's not it's gonna be a pretty quick uh, Java course so hopefully we'll get some more of it in and I'll see you guys in the next video and as always questions comments concerns and anything constructive is appreciated I mean that I mean that too guys like I get that I get a lot of like oh good job thank you and I was like I love that but uh, if you if you are stuck on something someone the other day was like why did you use the the cubed function and they didn't they didn't use the word function uh, to them they like they don't know functions still so okay cool i may have skipped over that i'm more than happy to go back in the comments and comment about it so i will see you guys next video and as always constructive criticism thanks for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe that helps me out a ton and i appreciate all the comments that i get and all the questions i get in the comments and i'm happy to answer them so keep them coming and i'll see you in the next video